Good morning, good evening. Uh, is it good morning, good afternoon, and good evening? How y'all doing? Welcome to Tommy Bites Homestead. Tommy, Tommy Bites. So we are in my backyard. And I want to give it little small update on the good and the bad the good and the bad so we're gonna start here on this table I pulled out all of my spinach and I had them sitting here because what I was doing was let me go a little bit closer okay so what I was doing was drying it out so that these seeds could dry out and I can replant it. And I forgot to take them in last night and it poured rain all night. So now I'm gonna have to redry good old little seeds here to replant. Can you see that? I'm working with a new phone, y'all. Okay, so that's one thing. These were also the, the spinach that I took out and these are just you know going to seed that's all that is just going to see it's a little new growth right there but I'm not trying to I already harvested off of my spinach like three times every morning I would come out and eat something off of my spinach so over here we have our strawberries so I've already harvested off of these twice and um, they were getting ready to grow for my third harvest, y'all. So, as you can see, let me zoom out. I have um, strawberries on here, but it rained so hard, it knocked that one off. One was sitting, well, that's one right there, y'all. But this one is really kind of, it was kind of loaded, but some of them fell off because of the rain. But it's one I know that did not fall off because of the rain. And here's one growing right here. I have some coming on that one. Okay, so the big one I had, it was red, well, it was half red and half white. So it was getting there. And I probably should have pulled it, y'all, and let it just turn red on the counter because my son had been eyeballing it when he comes out here to do his workouts for football. It's gone. He didn't eat it. He left it there because it wasn't ready. But the squirrel or the rabbit, that I did see a rabbit in my backyard. I don't know how it got in here. But apparently, they thought it was ready and it's not there anymore. So. Wow, look at these. Okay, so over here is my sweet potatoes. And these are uh, restarts. I, I used the potato out of my pantry, if you recall. And I had them in little pots, little small planters. And I, and I let the water sit and grow me these. Here, look. This is all, this is one. And then this is one. That's one. So it's about four in here. Two, three, four, maybe five. Anyway, yesterday, they weren't this high yesterday but with all the rain i have been starving for rain over here like it's been raining here in columbia but not over here in my neck of the woods so this is my other sweet potatoes okay i'm back my mom called and just knocked me off my phone usually when i'm recording i i hit the thing so nothing can disturb my recording anyway what i was saying was with these sweet potatoes over here they're actually grown a lot too because they're starting to get over the bin as well. That rain was needed. Now, here's my problem, a problem child. 
Oh my God, look at that. This is not my problem, child. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, so this right here is my squash. I have been having the hardest time growing this squash. I don't know why, but I have. I had them in the bin right there, the blue bin, and they weren't doing well. So then I put them in this raised bed here, the first raised bed. They weren't doing well. So then I transplanted them again for the third time. And well, the fourth time. And now they're doing, they seem to be doing good. I thought they weren't. I thought they were going to die because I did lose one. I had one planted here. That's why I have so much space. You can see the little bud right there. Oh my gosh. This was not out here yesterday. I don't want to mess with it too much, but it was not out here yesterday. And now today, because of all the rain yesterday, and I said God rain is the best rain ever now you can't get too much of the god rain but i needed it y'all i needed it and apparently my plants needed it because now it's even starting to bud and up in here and this bloom was not there so i'm so happy with that <clears throat> it's still a little problem but i'm i'm happy with it I moved all of my jalapenos in here. I do have some in containers over there. I'll show you in a minute. And I'm hoping that this helps it grow. I know what my issue is. When I did this first raised bed, zoom out if I can. When I did this first raised bed, because I've never done this before in my life. And so I was looking at a lot of people's videos, researching stuff, reading stuff. When I did this one, I didn't know about using, to use Epsom salt or not to use Epsom salt. I didn't read that until I was getting ready to do that bed over there. And I did that, the second bed, uh, maybe two weeks after I did this one and the second one is doing way better than this one so with this one i didn't do the soil with the epsom salt and you're saying epsom salt epsom salt if you don't know it adds magnesium to your soil to your plants to your flowers um you can either sprinkle it in there dry around you know in each hole or you can sprinkle it all throughout your um soil before you start planting mix it up wet it down then start planting i didn't do that in this one and i see the difference because things are growing really slow so i think my soil has a deficiency now you can have your soil check i don't have money for that um but after seeing what i did over there and how it's working I'm gonna have to come back now and mix my Epsom salt in water and water it from my canister. I'm about to step on my squash that are doing so well. Oh my God. And it's two tablespoons of Epsom salt per gallon of water. And you don't do that every day you don't do it every other day because you don't want to put too much in. So what you're gonna do is um, do it once a month. You're gonna do it once a month, once a month, excuse me. You can do the two tablespoons per gallon of water and do it. Or if you're gonna do it every other week, then you do one tablespoon per gallon. And you can do it every other week. So I'm gonna do mine every other week. Well, the first dose I'm gonna do once a month. So for July, on July 1st, I will do two tablespoons of Epsom salt per gallon of water, and I'll do this. But then starting in August, I'll just do it every other. So on, my onions are doing good. My collards, I've just planted these collards. 
when did I plan them? Uh, well, it'll be a month in a couple of days. And they're even not doing as great as they should be doing. So I'm definitely going to be adding that to my soil. Uh, the Epsom salt. These are also my jalapenos. They're starting to grow. That rain did some justice because they weren't that high. These are some more jalapenos right here. And then I have another one over there. Right there. Now on to raised bed number, yeah, raised bed number two. So with this raised bed, before I plant it in here, and I forgot to say, in the first raised bed, I have corn, I have beans, and did I put okra in here? Yeah, I came back and I put some okra in here, and they're starting to come up really good right there. That's okra. And then I also put like sunflowers in here. These are sunflowers over in raised bed number two. I planted cucumber and that's really growing. They weren't that high either, so they needed that water. They really need that water because they were growing better than raised bed number one because I added the Epsom salt to the soil before I plant it. So I'm gonna tell you what I have. I have the cucumber here, then I have corn close together because corn likes to grow close together. Uh-oh, uh we got a we got something budding over here. Awesome. Those are my onions. And I, I, these are transplants. They were in a different container and I put them over here and they seem to be doing so much better over here. Even that stalk is thick. Um, I have jalapenos I just stuck in here the other day. And then the corn right here is pretty and green. That's what that Epsom salt will do. It adds that magnesium to it. And the color is beautiful. I have sunflowers growing right here. I have sunflowers throughout. I just stuck them throughout because I, I want them to grow together if they can. The corn is looking good. The okra is looking good. These are the okra. On these sides, I have the okra. Then I have the corn in the middle with the sunflowers and the onions and the cucumbers are on each end of the raised bed. These are these are growing slow. I don't know what's going on down here. Because you see those are growing good over there. But then you get over here and you only have maybe one that's growing really good. The rest of them came up. They germinated. And then I planted um, pumpkins for my grandkids and for my um, youngest daughter. So they'll each hopefully have a pumpkin to decorate by the end of October. So these are doing really good. I can't remember the date that I plant them, but they grow. They were they, they sprouted really fast. And then this is also sunflower. I threw some cabbage in here because they weren't my cabbage is just not doing great at all. I don't know why. They just not doing good. And I put them in here. They're doing a little bit better. I think if I had started them in here. With that Epsom salt, they would have did really well. But I'm not gonna give up on trying to grow cabbage. I'm gonna try it again. If at first you don't um, succeed, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it again. Push yourself off and try again. But I will also be watering these right here, the same as the other one with the Epsom salt. So it's up to you whether you want to um, use the Epsom salt or not. Over here, I have my pecan tree is really doing great. 
it was not this tall when I got it. Um, it's maybe grown a couple of inches, but it's doing good. I have it kind of under this tree here so that it'll have some shade, but also sun. Um, yeah, that's about it. I put my grow table over there and just want to give y'all a little update. Everything doesn't go great <laughs> in your garden all the time, I see, and it's been a struggle, but I'm learning. This is my first time doing it, so I think I'm doing okay, but it's okay because it's going to be failures in this stuff, especially when you're new to it. Wow, that's going really weird. Um, but I'm excited to see things are sprouting, things are growing, especially with the rain. Um, I was worried about my sweet potatoes. Lord, I was worried about these sweet potatoes. I just did not know what they were going to do. And so over here, over here, these are tomatoes. Well, minus that, that's a marigold. <laughs> this is a tomato. These tomatoes came from the school tomatoes. So update on that. These came from, something's been eating it. Um, they came from the school tomatoes, the ones that I sliced up and just put in the soil. And then I, uh, once they grew a little bit and I put them in these right here, just to see what they do. That's an experiment. I just wanted to see if they would actually grow and they did. Anyway, y'all, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Go along this journey with me, um, learning gardening. I appreciate y'all for joining me. Um, feel free to comment down below. Give me some advice what I should do to um, hopefully get this garden to blooming like it needs to. But I think if I do what I said I'm going to do for this first one, it'll turn around. If not, it's a learning lesson. So until next time, peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for being here on Tommy Bikes Homestead. Smooches.